Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another game from round one Tata Steel Chess Masters Tournament. First big tournament uh, in uh, 2020. And today I would like to uh, cover the game uh, of Jordan van Forest. Uh, he's a grandmaster from uh, Netherlands, very young one, 20 years old. And his ranking is 2644 points. And as black, I'm gonna play Yu Yang Yi, Grandmaster from China. He's 25 years old, more experienced uh, in tournaments, and um, his ranking is 2726 points. War, welcome for both of the players. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the game. So Jordan uh, opens with e4. We have c5, Sicilian defense, knight f3 e6, c3, not really the most popular um, line, but it's still uh, very, very well covered in the databases, couple of thousands of games. Um, d5, e takes on d5 and queen takes on d5. And uh, this this is all theory. It's it's it was played by Kramnik. It was played by uh, Magnus Carlsen as black. So everything is fine with these lines. Um, just the players choose the line, which uh, is not the most popular here. We have d4, still pretty standard. Knight f6, knight a3. So developing this knight, uh, it looks like a strange way, but that's. Uh, that's necessary in this line. Knight c6, attacking, uh, bringing one more attacker to d4. We have a bishop on e3, so defending. And now we have a pawn from c takes to d4. And uh, white can't just pick up the, the pawn. I mean, they can, but they're gonna get the worst position after exchange on a3. Uh, because this pawn structure would be totally messed up. This is why knight b5 is played um, in this position. And there is a threat of forking uh, king and the queen, so uh, black has to play queen d7. We have knight from b takes on d4, bishop d6, and here uh, Jordan decided to uh, take the knight on c6. And if you, Yang Yi, would uh, decide to take on a c6 by the queen, that's really not recommended because after bishop on b5, uh, black would be um, forced to take this bishop on b5 and white could take on d6. And now this uh, queen control that diagonal and uh, black would have to stay in the center and probably would have the problems um, in that game uh, later. So uh, Yuang Yi just decided to take by pawn. Uh, his structure of pawns is, is quite messy for now, but um, it's, it's, um, it's possible to fix it. We have bishop on d4 with the plan of attacking on e5. So black plays bishop on b7. We have knight e5 as planned. Queen e7 because queen is under attack and black doesn't really want to exchange the uh, bishop for the knight because we'd lose the uh, pair of bishop. Uh, so we have queen on e7. Knight c4 attacking the bishop. Um, anyway, bishop c7, so moving from the range of the knight. And we have queen on b3. So... Uh, uh, Jordan van Forest try to be as much annoying as uh, possible. Bishop on a6. We have queen a3 inviting to the exchanging the most of the pieces. Um, black accept that. So we have uh, queen on a3, knight on a3, bishop f1, king f1 and uh, bishop on b6 so uh, invite inviting even for more exchange uh, just to fix the pawn structure but in this um, case uh, jordan choose to uh, exchange this bishop for the knight on f6 we have g on f6 so at this moment uh, black has uh, four pawns island so uh, it's like not really comfortable situations uh, especially if um, this uh, h 
an a pawn can be attacked by the rook so um uh, it's still of course um pretty equal but black has much more difficult game uh, king e2 rook g8 so attacking on uh open semi open g file we have g3 and queenside castle by black knight c4 attacking the bishop but uh Yu Yuang Yi don't care about that because that's gonna fix his um, uh, structure of pawns. Uh, we have king on c7, rook a to d1, rook d5, so uh, players try to um, take uh, advantage of the open uh, d file, uh, rook on d3 by Van Forest, uh, h5, uh, now um, black try to uh, advance a bit h pawn just to give le less possibilities uh, for white to uh, play on this uh, king side rook h on d1 and rook g to d8 so uh, both players uh, were able to uh, double the rooks on d file and now we have knight on e3 attacking the rooks and uh, in this position, uh, Yu Yang Yi decided to exchange. He thought that, okay, this knight is probably much stronger in this position. It can jump somewhere and, and you know, attack uh, everything there while this bishop can be really active as the position is not so much open. So, um, and, and also, he wants to, you know, fix the structure of his pawns uh, by exchanging the rooks on d5. So um, that's his plan. So uh, he takes on e3. We have king takes on e3 and rook e5. So uh, pushing the king from uh, the rooks. Um, Jordan van Forest uh, move uh, king to f3. And now it's like some kind of inaccuracy nothing fancy uh, by the plan of uh, what what Yu Yang Yi has uh, in this game he could now just uh, pick the rook on d3 and play with the uh, pair of uh, rooks only on the board classical very classical rook endings uh, still white probably are slightly better and uh, would try to get advantage on playing on both uh, of the sides of the board uh, but you 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 and he try to play uh, rook from e to d5 and uh, van forest uh, exchange the rook we have c on d5 so uh black player um, ex uh, just fix this structure now the uh, massive pawn center can try to you know march here and maybe create some um pass pawn but also uh, white have advantage on the queen side so it's always something for something one advantage for another disadvantage and um, this actually should be better for white as it looks like black need to bring the king to the center and white probably can be faster on um, on the queen side but let's see how that uh, happened what happened in the game so we have a rook on d4 uh moving lifting the rook and uh, you know now uh, rook is fully operational on the on the four rank we have rook on b8 so attacking uh, b2 pawn we have b3 preventing king d6 centralizing the king king e3 and now f5 so this would be the plan probably for black uh, maybe can uh, you know move all this massive center and the game happened a, a little bit um different way we have a rook on a4 and uh, rook on a4 uh, is okay nothing fancy it's just attacking the this lonely pawn on e7 but black has to defend it somehow and Yu Yang Yi actually have about 14 minutes on the clock, uh, while uh, Jordan Van Forest have 27, twice more time. Uh, so uh, Jordan try to play as much active as he can, and maybe maybe a black player could 
could just, uh, you know, make some uh, mistake in accuracies. For example, in this position, there are many in this pos in this rook ending. But for example, if he move the rook on b7 and try to be more active, then this pawn gonna fall because there is there will be no way to defend that pawn. So black has to be uh, very careful, even if it's uh, pretty drawish. Uh, so we have uh, rook go on a8 and uh, defending that pawn, uh, rook h4 by white and rook on h8 uh, by black again. h3, we have king e5, uh, centralizing the king even more, king d3, king f6, uh, giving some space for the pawns, but also keep in mind that uh, white now can you know try to attack on the uh, on the queen side but how to do it we have a rook on a4 attacking here again so a rook go back to a to a8 we have b4 we have king e5 rook a6 so cutting the king from uh, moving to you know six rank uh, and help defending and we have f4 and, and this position is actually much better for Jordan van Forest. He could get advantage uh, if he just don't do anything on king side. There is the line a4 and now after uh, exchanging the pawns on g3, uh, black would have to be uh, as active as possible to have some counterplay. So we would have g4 f takes on g4, h takes on g4, rook takes on g4, and rook takes on a7. And it looks like uh, it's uh, pretty drawish, but I think white has more chances because it's not easy to stop um, these pawns and this these pawns probably are easier to be stopped. So the game would continue, rook g3, check, king c2, rook g2, king would hide in b3, and now we would have maybe f5, b5, and how do you think which, um, who gonna be first? Now let's check. f4, but rook f7. Now king e4, helping the pawn to, you know, to promote. And at the same moment, uh, white don't need to move the tempi for helping the, the, the pawn. So, uh, and also this king is uh, placed really this is really special so black would have to you know go on the back side uh, maybe this way uh, quite hard we would have b6 rook g8 uh, b7 uh, f3 a5 so coming with uh, one more uh, extra pawn to help king e3 a6 f2 so it's almost, but we have a7 and black still have to play something like king on e2. And, and this is actually uh, much faster for white, as you see. These two pawns are, are faster than one pawn on f with support of the king. So uh, just b8 uh, and yeah, all is done. Uh, maybe... <laughs> just make the queen but the queen can be taken and uh, with queen extra it's of course easy win for white so uh, white missed the opportunity to win uh, instead uh, jordan play g4 and uh, yu yang Yi just exchange on g4 and uh, and here play f5 and now this is considered as a blunder. However, it's also not so easy way to find the, you know, uh, to find the, the correct uh, uh, moves for, uh, for black. Uh, if he play f6, that would be probably much better. After b5, rook b8, so attacking a4 supporting black would have a chance to move the rook on b7 much more active uh, sp spot f3 consolidating here uh, rook h7 activating this rook so um, maybe can play something on the third rank or on, on the second rank 
maybe also could come on behind. Uh, th that's depend on the situation. We would have a5. Uh, Black even could just uh, defend with the rook on b7. This rook can't move so easily. So uh, this is pretty drawish situation. It's really difficult to move by any sides, as you see. Uh, so f5 was not really great. Uh, probably the best move for for white would be g5 and and trying to you know pull this rook and exchange uh, this pawn for for uh, g pawn and uh, bring these two pawns to the promotion and as as we know already they are much faster than pawns in the center uh, so yeah uh, but Jordan didn't play uh, g5 he play g takes on e5 so we have king on f5 and a4 as planned e5 we have b5 now e4 check and now it's another inaccuracy by white uh, white just should king d2 and just wait for this pawn that would be give them a lot of time for example king g4 b6 rook b8 b takes on e7 rook a8 so the rook would be stuck for the rest of the game there uh, king e2 and just uh, white rook would be active so would do something uh, probably would be much uh, easier to to win by white um, however king d4 was played in the game and this uh, give it this moves give opportunity to uh, to black to actually draw the game so draw is still possible uh, if black play it's not really standard way but rook on e8 so this rook has to support uh, on e5 and uh, the cost gonna be this um, pawn on a7 so it doesn't look pretty natural but look at this rook and a7 and now king g6 and king g6 is so powerful move and i will show you why if b6 is played then we would have e3 uh, f on e3 and now don't take it now play f3 and now as you see white can't do anything here can't even come to you know do something the king also gonna be uh not fast enough so uh king d3 would be rook f8 uh, b7 f2 and rook a6 king g5 rook b6 maybe try to push but it's all too late because uh, black would just make a queen right now and uh, yeah with the queen extra it's a pretty easy win for black so white would have to go in um, this situation on king g6 uh, go for a draw with a threefold repetition rook on a6 uh, king g7, rook a7 check, king g8, uh, rook a6 trying to, you know, get behind the pawns, uh, but still king g7 <laughs> and rook a7 and that would be a draw. Uh, and it's nothing uh, white could do if they try to push. I just show you that that that's um, this time would be faster for black to, you know, to win that game. Uh, so, uh, yes. Um, but in this position, uh, what was that position? King g4 was played. So um, king g4 and then we have b6. b6 but Jordan van Forest and then king on f3. It's also possible the line uh, like uh, rook b8, b a7, rook a8, uh, c4. Uh, takes on c4 and king takes on e4 and after c3 uh, king d3 uh, king f3 king c3 king f2 uh, king b4 and uh, f3 king b5 uh, black would have to move uh, out from this uh, shelter so white would just um, check at that time 
we would have king d1, uh, rook f6, and just exchange this these pawns on a7 and F f3. And uh, white is winning here very easily as the black king uh, is much, much behind and is, um, and is cut by white rook. So it's easy to bring this pawn to you know to the promotion so um that wouldn't work this is why king f3 was played um, but this actually also doesn't work uh, rook a7 and we have rook b8 right now a5 supporting the pawn uh, on b6 king f2 so it looks like pretty scary uh, but we have rook e7 uh, so uh, always put the rook behind the, the past pawns. We have uh, f3 in the game, b7, e3 with, uh, you know, it's, it's starting to get uh, more hot and dangerous here. But a6, e2, rook e6, so just waiting move by white and black doesn't have much moves to do. It's not Suksfang yet, but um, Black just in some point they they have to you know uh, play the queen on e1, then rook e1, uh, king stakes on e1. We have um, a7, rook on b7, and then White promotes to a queen. And uh, Black didn't resign yet. Uh, it's move 54, and Black still play. Uh, it looks like uh, Yu Yang Yi uh, can't believe that he no, you know he uh, he losing that game, so he still try rook e7. We have queen on f8, so attacking the rook and the f3 pawn. We have rook e4 with check. King takes on uh, d5. Rook on e3, so defending that pawn. We have a queen c5 attacking that rook, king d2, king d4, and now we have a rook d3. And now uh, if white try, you know, play on, for example, c4, they, they can even lose that because of a uh, very ni nice x-ray. So have to be careful here. Uh, king e4 was played rook c3. Uh, so Yu Yang Yi just um, takes a, a pawn on c3. And now the plan for white is uh, play from that flank, push, takes this pawn uh, by maneuvering the uh, queen and push the king and the rook to the corner. So let's see how that was done. We have queen f2 check, king c1, king d4, Rook a3, so still defending the pawn. We have uh, king on d5, rook d3, king c4, rook a3, uh, and now we have queen c5. And in this position, as you see, uh, the rook can't defend the pawn anymore because uh, all the squares I contr are controlled by white. That's uh, pretty interesting um, strategy here so we have king on b2 so yeah uh, rook still stay on the uh, third rank now we have queen b4 king a2 queen d2 and now um, black have to play king b1 we have king b4 and now the same uh, but much better because now all the third rank is controlled again, but this time uh, king can't move and help the rook. So we have rook on a2, uh, we have queen d1 check, uh, king b2 and queen f3. So first part of the plan realized uh, we have uh, move 69 and the game continue. It's still a couple of moves to do uh, to win. King c1, queen f1 check, king c2, queen e1, rook b2, check, king c4, rook a2, we have queen e2, check, king b1, 
queen d1, so now it's totally in the corner, king b2, king b4, and in this position, you, Yang Yi, just decided to uh, resign the game as now he has no space for moving for his king, for uh, now he has to move the rook somewhere. And uh, yeah, that's uh, quite easy to checkmate right now. So yeah, if you like this video, just click uh, like button. If you don't like this video, click unlike. Uh, feel free also to comment. Uh, maybe tell me which games you would like me to cover. Um, I watch uh, all the games in round two as well. And uh, yeah, you can choose, uh, help me to choose which game um, to cover. Uh, if not, then I will have to choose uh, by myself like I did um, this time. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one.